Hi, yes, it's Indiegogo Woo Woo Snake Oil time again. Let's take a look at the happy. Choose how you feel. Happy, or pronounced happy, is the first wearable that lets you feel calm, alert, focused, or sleepy on command. It's from Seattle in the United States of America, and it's raised almost 600,000 Aussie bucks. There you go, almost 400,000 US raised of 2,622% of their $22,000 goal. There's four days left to get your snake oil quick. You better get in fast. Anyway, this video is going to be a little bit different uh, to the previous, like, busted ones I've done before. I'm not really going to go into the technical details of why this is just a complete nutter woo-woo, because uh, Thunderfoot has already done a comprehensive video on that from, like, more of the science uh, point of view. So, especially towards the end of the video, I highly recommend you uh, check it out. I'll link it in down below. And at the end, talking about, like, the frequency of stuff and molecules and magnetic fields and all sorts of uh, stuff like that so that's rather good so rather than go over that again i thought i'd show you where these sort of things come from this isn't just like one person with a stupid idea this actually comes from a large network of people as we'll go into that are all intertwined as we'll see and you can hopefully get a feel for where huh? Ah, pun intended, I'm here all week. Feel for, you know, how these sort of products actually happen. So let's take a look at it. What is the Happy? Happy is the world's first wearable that lets you feel calm, alert, focused, relaxed, or sleepy on command, or with just a few taps on your smartphone. Of course, it's got a smartphone app with it. This unique product allows you to experience the feelings and sensations you desire almost instantly without ingesting any harmful substance. Oh, <laughs> That's so much better in the 60s, wasn't it? <laughs> or chemical, while having the ability to return to your normal baseline state within a matter of minutes. Oh, look at this. You just whack it around your neck and you just get up, dial up your smartphone, start the app, and you choose the mood that you want to feel. And within minutes, you magically feel whatever you program it in. You can get happy, alert, a pick me up. It don't need caffeine. Just whack this around your neck and program it on your smartphone. Calm, relaxed, or sleepy. So, how does it work? Oh, <gasps> magic. No, but apparently it works because it uses groundbreaking patented electromagnetic frequency technology to deliver the desired feeling, blah, 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 without ingesting any chemicals. Over 15 years of research and development, it's backed by patented technology. Uh, Happy's magnetic field uses frequencies from 0 to 22 kilohertz, much lower frequency than cell phones, which are in the range of 600 megahertz or greater. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So it's completely safe, I'm sure. It's so safe, it's not going to do anything <laughs> except extract money from your wallet. Happy's magnetic field is non-ionizing and non-thermal. Your favorite thing, feelings on demand. <laughs> Unfortunately, they have actually uh, duped, at this stage, uh, 147 people will pay 544 Aussie bucks. Oh, it's 28% discounted for each unit. Wow, just for the little magnetic coil that you put around your neck with the magic woo-woo uh, files in it that make you feel all happy. Or two, if you a thousand bucks if you want two of them. One of them for 1,500 Aussie bucks. Regular retail, $3,000. Get beta access. 54 people out of 65 have been duped into, and I can probably tell you who are the people that have actually been duped into this. We'll get into it. Yeah, look at this. You get lifetime access to all the signals oh, in the companion free ship. Plus, you'll get early beta access to all future signals that they develop to make you feel sad and lonely and feel like you've been ripped off with this woo-woo. Plus, you'll have the opportunity to shape the future of Happy by providing feedback on team-only calls. They've got 54 people out of 65 to back that. Unbelievable. And a family pack. 12 people have paid 1500 bucks to get three of them. Unbelievable. These people have been absolutely duped out of their money. 
And if that wasn't pricey enough, oh no, you can't just buy the unit and be happy. You'll only be happy for three months because that's all you get access to without a continued monthly access to the app. You lose this thing is just becomes a brick. It's a brick anyway. It does nothing. It's absolute woo woo. But well, it does. I'm sure it, it resonates the coil, but it doesn't actually do anything apart from that. So all you get is three months access. Otherwise, you've got to actually pay for monthly access. If you get the team perk level, you get 12 month access included. Otherwise, it just turns into a brick. Unbelievable. Now, actually, I don't need one of these to tear down because I was uh, standing around the water cooler uh, the other day and uh, somebody mentioned what's inside one of these things. So it does actually have a functioning circuitry. Now, I've posted this over on the EEV blog forum. Uh, it's got a Nordic uh, NRF BLE module in it, so the Bluetooth module to communicate with your phone, obviously. So it does actually talk to the app and things like that. Um, it's got a TI Class D audio amplifier in it. This drives the uh, uh, coil, which is presumably right around the uh, band on it. And apparently um, that coil's not even wired up properly. Apparently there's like a DC offset issue with it or something. It apparently also has a tamper detection switch in it. Jeez, I wonder why. But anyway, you could of course measure, if you had one of these, you could actually measure the magnetic field, even though it's incredibly small as we might uh, mention. But apparently uh, that tamper switch is easily uh, bypassed and it's got a uh, Texas Instruments uh, RGB uh, controller in there which allows you to um, light up change the LEDs because yeah it lights up woo gotta get something for your money and what it does is it actually plays back these uh, WAV files, WAV files, uh, you're a WAV or a WAV fanboy? Leave it in the comments down below. Anyway, plays back these uh, WAV files um, that supposedly stimulate um, these feelings within your body because it's magic. But it's backed by science. <laughs> And apparently those WAV files are triple encrypted. So yeah, it's super paranoid about uh, people not stealing their tech. <coughs> And apparently it can actually interfere with uh, normal analog um, earbud headphone things, which is not surprising considering it's in basically in uh, the audio range. I'd love to actually get one and actually try and extract the signal from it. You should be able to measure it if you've got a sensitive enough coil. Anyway, so it does do what it claims to do in terms of generating the magnetic field. But of course, it's a complete woo-woo, doesn't actually work as they say it do, does. It's the power of suggestion. This would never ever survive a true double blind test. Like as in, right, I'm gonna pick a thing, you a mood, you tell me what it is. It's never gonna pass that. So you'll never see it being tested like that. It's and backed by science. By the way, someone's put $80 million worth of funding in this and they only wanted 22 grand for this uh, Indiegogo? Yeah, sounds legit. Uh, about 15 years ago, this technology was invented out of Seattle. There's 38 patents and about $80 million behind this. What 38 we patents we and $80 million bucks. Inside of our labs, and we can come out with a 13 megabyte wave file that mimics that chemical. Okay? Sure. So the parent company, our sister company out of Seattle is working with brain tumors. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. We'll talk we about that. We are taking this to the world as a general wellness product. So we can mimic the effects of a few cups of coffee. Uh, caffeine, we can mimic melatonin. Tim back here was on, uh, <laughs> I don't remember, an hour ago, CBD, the, the relaxed signal, okay? And then I put him up with alert, okay? So we've got um, the weight of the world behind us. We're so excited to bring this to the market here in the next two months. Um, I bet you are. And I'm betting that a lot of people in this audience are the people who have backed it. Woo! Woo! I feel it every time I try it, whether it's here or up here, you've actually built something that works. You feel it. That's what it says it's supposed to do. Right. We'll get back to this guy. Is amazing. Guys, this is a beautiful idea. And this is radical, revolutionary. Notice where they are. Hey guys, this is Scott. Hey Scott. Welcome to Happy. It's a process to deliver unique magnetic fields to your body. It <laughs> help you feel calm, relaxed, alert, sleepy. So many ways that you can use Happy to help you feel better. Started out with calm. Got me into a really sweet spot. Oh, I'm sure it is, because she was suggested like to energy. you. Electricity was going through my body, <laughs> but it was moving up and down in a very comfortable, peaceful way. Hey, this is going to be amazing to be able to have something that you can just put around your neck and it and it extracts money from your pocket. Incredible. My feeling is it will be a consumer generated mm. revolution. The moment uh -huh. the consumer gets this, they will actually do all the selling. Such an amazing product that 
I've just heard JP about it. Sears. We'll get that into JP Sears in a minute. They look happy or happy. He's alert. Look at him. Oh, she's calm. There, they've got pick me up. Oh, well, yeah, he's chilling. He's relaxing. Look at that goatee. I couldn't guess the feeling there. How it works. Dozens of feelings by playing predictable electromagnetic fields. Uh huh. What you're getting is a 40, 40 milligauss, milligauss magnetic field. 40 milligauss magnetic field. Uh, the Earth's magnetic field is uh, 250 to 650 milligauss, so an order of magnitude less than the Earth's magnetic field. But oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Anyway, let's just get back to it. A field, a very, very tiny magnetic field. Mm -hmm. And we are playing these signals onto your body at about 20, 20 kilohertz. kilohertz. As you're using the device, the magnetic fields are traveling through the coils onto your body. <laughs> it's not heat based, it's not invasive, it's <laughs> not ionizing. It's just simple magnetic fields. Oh yeah, easy to use app, which only cost you like 30 bucks a month after you pay your 500 bucks for your so happy wristband. Oh, I bet you are. The world, Ooh, but we yeah. need your help. Filthy lucre they can get. The manufacturers and done a small run. We need a boost from this community to go into full production. Uh -huh. Supplies are limited. So make They're limited. Sure you click the link below and reserve your product today. Woo! Yeah. So thank you very much. That was Scott Donnell, the CEO. And here's the people involved. Thank you very much for putting them all up because we can now get to the kind of point of this video is how this sort of thing happens. And of course, as with every Kickstarter and Indiegogo, it'll say as seen, as featured in. And it doesn't have the usual culprits. This is like um, KTLA 5 or some local news radio uh, TV show. We won't care about that. But as featured on the Genius Network and Bulletproof Labs. Who is the Genius Network? Who are Bulletproof Labs? Well, let's go down the rabbit hole, shall we? This is their website, by the way. Genius. Oh, Joe Polish. How you doing, Joe? Founder of, we'll see him again shortly. Founder of Genius Network and Genius Recovery. He's the founder of Genius Network. He's one of the most sought after marketers alive today. Of course, he's a marketer. Known for his ability to connect with almost anyone on the planet. He leverages his network prowess through his highly renowned Genius Network and Genius X masterminds. He has helped build thousands of businesses, generate a blah, blah, blah 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 who is bulletproof labs let's search for bullet oh gee we found it just so happens to be dave asprey who's the founder of bulletproof 360 and one of the strategic advisors and advisory board there's more down here martin tobias founder of upgrade labs he's the ceo of bulletproof labs so right off the bat, we have Genius Network and Bulletproof Labs, the two featured where this has been featured. Three of the invest strategic investors and three of the advisory board members are the people behind the companies that are featuring and promoting this. Oh, well done, keeping it in the family. Yes. And you remember our mate JP Sears here who was promoting it in the... <laughs> Indiegogo video. Well, he's actually a, a fairly famous uh, YouTuber. He's got a large audience and he's actually ironically famous for doing these uh, comedic skit videos. And a lot of people think they're actually true. They're actually real. These comedic skit videos about like, you know, ridiculous faith healing and all sorts of stuff like that. And then <laughs> he's a comedian who does like fake healing scam videos. It's, it's just incredible. <laughs> So ironic. So how is he tied up in this? Well, if you go over to the Genius Network, their annual event, let's have a look here. <gasps> here he is, our good mate JP. He's the MC of the Genius Network. They get him in. Genius, it looks like it's one of these, you know, entrepreneurial business wank wank meetings where you get to rub shoulders and hear presentations from the smartest entrepreneurial people in the business and he's there one of their key speakers and MC at this event so you can start to see the circle jerk that's involved here oh who's he with here ultra spiritual workout with JP Sears he's with Joe 
Polish. Look, I think we know Joe Polish, don't we? Yeah, he's the founder of the Genius Network and the investor in Happy. So back in the video here, we have Dave Asprey, founder of Bulletproof Coffee. They don't mention that he is also one of the strategic investors and advisory board. And I bet you, bottom dollar, that all this stuff was done at one of these Genius Networks. All these people that they're getting to speak, out here, this was all done at one of these Genius Network events. I bet my bottom dollar. And then this other guy spruiking it here, Mike Konings. Oh, geez, you just Google Mike Konings Genius Network and you get our good mate Joe Polish and Mike talking about building your perfect network or something. How to double your revenue in one year. Mike Konings as part of Joe Polish's Genius Network. You can... <laughs> You can see the circle jerk involved in this whole thing. It is just, it's just laughable. And here's our good mate Joe Polish of Genius Networks talking with our good mate JP about how to build a following. <laughs> Oh, and here's Dave Asprey. He's a lifestyle guru talking about how to scale your company. Yeah. So who else do they have speaking at these sort of uh, genius network things? Well, right under JP here, I couldn't help but uh, see the next one. I don't know if he's involved in Happy in any way. I haven't uh, haven't found that yet. But Dr. Andrew Wheel, um, he's been the father of called in, the father of integrative medicine. I had no idea what integrative medicine means. Sounds important. You Google that, and uh, integrative medicine is is when alternative medicine is used together with functional medical treatment in a belief, in a belief that improves the effects of treatment. <laughs> that says it all. Once again, I have no idea if he, I assume he's not connected to this, but it's just curious, isn't it? How that these sort of people just like hang around together. It's, uh, it, but it, it's only gonna get better, keep watching. State of the world behind this, we're so excited to bring this to the market here in the next two months. Um, and everyone in Genius is going to get uh, several hundred dollars off at the end of this. So they get um, that several is the hundred dollars of off. Company. It looks like this. Uh, Michael, you have one of the, you have one of our prototypes sitting here. There's 10,000 in manufacturing right now. You want to try to 10,000 in the manufacturing, the they Show claim. The logo happy. We're giving emotions, not happy. Now it's think of like Netflix for feelings. That's it's really what's Netflix for here. feelings. Actually, uh, it's like, like I'll link in this free. video down below. It's just, it's the CEO of Happy, 10 minute presentation to all these, presents at the Genius Network, 10 minutes of, uh, you know, technical woo woo about how and why this thing works. Bring to the world with Bulletproof. Um, here are the lab results. We've done dozens of lab studies over the last decade in animals and it humans. Does um, lab studies. Thunderfoot covers this in his video. Phones cause cancer, okay? Phones no cause really cancer, does. no one really uh, knows. Reason being that 5G is 100 and times more powerful than 4G. Talks about 5G. Times the amount of antenna uh, anyway, I'll link in my just um, Sharia okay? from the so Signal Path talks from, about that. I'll link it in. Uh, five, the non-ionizing, which I'll talk about, the ionizing. Bullet it's talking about ionizing talk radiation, about. Okay, all that sort of stuff. down here to light communicate with each other. It's a frequency to them. When you eat non-processed vegetables and fruits, there's an actual frequency that's getting into your body that's helping frequency your body. Frequency when it's you a very eat good thing. the By vegetables. The way, processed foods, canned foods, zero hertz. Zero hertz from canned food. Oh, actually. Uh, this is kind of awesome. Recordings found that plants make ultrasonic squeals when they're stressed. They plants look like spiky when you're cutting them or penises. Them. Any vegetarians in the room? <laughs> talking about is about seven to twenty-two kilohertz. Very, very small. Your phone is about three thousand times the output of our, our headbands. Okay, and a lot of different <laughs> therapies are similar. You want to be in the ultra low space. So there are negatives that can affect you. Okay, but there's also a lot of good that this can do. I mentioned you know fruits and vegetables that are natural have a frequency to help your body keep its energy up. Um, this is our sister company out of Seattle, Emulate Therapeutics. They have sister um, company. That is a dog. Tumor. Emulate okay, got the, the signal for Paxol. They've been doing clinical trials for six years. You can see treatment clinical day, trials. that delivers hormone, an siRNA molecule, is able to be knocked down. That's Roundup, okay, with a frequency. They're able to mimic Roundup. So energy is everywhere yeah. and it can be used for good, okay? So he's talking about this sister company. Well, if we go back to our board of directors here, Chris Rivera is the CEO of Emulate Therapeutics. He's on the board of directors. It's their Happy's technology partner because the Happy is not new. It comes from Emulate, here they are, Emulate Therapeutics. Oh yeah, the treatment of cancer. We've gone to cancer. This is a headband, once again, that plays back electromagnetic signals to treat cancer. Yeah. It's just a, a another variant um, of this. It's based on the exact same technology and the coil uh, driving stuff is exactly the same as this as it is in the Happy.
So once again, it's precisely targeted ultra low frequency energy to regulate signaling and metabolic pathways on the molecular and genetic levels without chemicals, blah, blah, blah. And it's called the Voyager. So this is basically a spin-off of this Voyager headband thing. Proprietary technology has the potential to be applied to a wide range of conditions, as well as veterinary medicine and non-medical applications. Their initial focus is on the treatment of patients with brain cancer who are not well served by conventional standard of care therapies, which often result in poor outcomes. You think? Yeah, because they've got cancer. And a lot of people with cancer die. Um, and devastating side effects. Yeah, this has no side effects because it's not gonna do anything. It's magic. Woo woo. Pharmaceutical companies are the enemy. They promote drug dependency at the cost of the natural remedies that are all our bodies need. They are immoral and driven by greed. Why take drugs when herbs can solve it? Why use chemicals when homeopathic solvents can resolve it? I think it's time we all return to live with natural medical alternatives. By definition, I begin. Alternative medicine, I continue, has either not been proved to work or been proved not to work. Do you know what they call alternative medicine that's been proved to work? Medicine. <laughs> now, they claim to have all this scientific platform, see our science and all this sort of stuff. I won't go into this. Now, as with all these things, they have a kernel of truth behind them. There might be some studies done on that this particular, you know, interaction frequency interacts with this thing or whatever. Look, and I'm, this is how they do it, apparently. I, well, Helmholtz, because that sounds complicated, got some Helmholtz coils. This is how they record the molecule. I'm not sure how they do it for the happy, but I assume it's like a similar sort of thing. And the, a gradiometer, an optic fiber cable, squid output coil, analog to digital converter, blah, blah, blah and then they capture this, the, the frequency signal, the signature of the, I don't know, what it is, the cancer or whatever it is they're trying to cure, and then they play it back with their ultra-low magnetic field, and that's supposed to cure you, except this one goes around your head because, you know, yeah. You have a frequency level in your body, okay? Everybody does, all life does. The average body's around 62 to 68 megahertz. The brain is a little higher because of all the 100 trillion neurons. Thyroid gland 62, thymus gland 65, and then heart at 67. This is the important thing to understand. An unhealthy body, cold and flu, is below 60. Okay, 57 is where cold and flu starts. Uh, cancer has a frequency, guys, 42 megahertz. Death starts at 25 megahertz, okay? You need to hum at a high level, level inside your body. Trauma is the biggest blocker to your health out of anything else I've ever seen. And this is data backed. We've done studies, we're partnering with Dr. Don Woods. He's one of our main partners that helped me come up with this. Um, a lot of people in Genius, he's a Genius Network member. So who is Dr. Don Wood, I hear you ask? Well, he must be some world-renowned, like, uh, brain cancer researcher or something like that. Well, here's his Facebook page. Let's go over to his home page, Dr. Wood, PhD. Live inspired with Dr. Wood. He discovered a more efficient and effective solution to trauma using adva modern advancements in the study of neuroscience and cutting-edge proprietary techniques. I'm sure the proprietary technology is inside this magic woo-woo. Let's check out his resume. Must be like a real serious uh, doctor. A certification in environmental health. Uh, SOAR Global Institute. The Institute for Survivors of Sexual Violence. Um, yep, so, you know, trauma. Um, University of Central Excellence in Entrepreneurship. Uh, clinical Hypnotherapy Certificate. Florida Christian University, because, well, you need to believe that's important. Into leadership and into ministry. A Bachelor of Arts in Psychology from Florida Christian University, yet again. Master of Arts in Clinical Counseling. Doctor of his, where he got his PhD. Doctor of Philosophy in Clinical Counseling. So, yeah, not an actual medical doctor. They claim to be linked to various research partners and things like that. But yeah, look, I'm not going to go into this. I haven't investigated it. But basically, uh, the happy comes from this Voyager product. So what about these other people on the investors and board of directors? Lee Richter and Mark Young. We've already seen that all the other four are part of the uh, Genius Network and all intertwined. Well, it turns out that uh, Lee Richter, yep. Sure enough, uh, how to turn free speech into a multi-million dollar brand with Joe Polish's Genius Network. The gift of connection with Joe Polish. 
A Jekyll and Hyde, Mark Young, he's a CEO visionary. Oh, look, right next to Einstein, absolutely. Um, is he in the video as well? I'm not sure if that was him also in the video. Hmm, anyway, he's a member of the High IQ Society and the Genius Network. Wow, who would have guessed? So that is literally 100% of the Strategic Investors and Advisory Board. The only ones I couldn't find that weren't part of this uh, network, but maybe I haven't, just haven't searched hard enough, was uh, Rob Diziak, which is one of the directors, and Pat Murray, who seems to be an electrical engineer um, and inventor, entrepreneur, and all that sort of stuff is part of the management team. But everyone else, oh yeah. So all of these strategic investors, it looks like they've all been duped by their uh, genius network uh, friends into uh, investing in this magical woo-woo technology. Um, uh, looks like that comes from Mr. Not a Medical Doctor. And it's just like other people in this video. Lisa Sinney, uh, for example, here, like, go in here, Lisa. There you go, founder of Mosaic Design Group. She's also plugging it, and she's one of the strategic... Like, come on! And this guy here, Dan Sullivan, strategic coach. Uh, like, you go into here, I couldn't find him in here, but you type in his name, bingo, the first thing you find is he's the co-founder of Strategic Coach, blah, 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 part of the Genius Network, changing your game. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And I did actually find their patents. Here you go. It's on the uh, Emulate uh, Therapeutics website. It comes from the Emulate Voyager, which is where they get their actual uh, magnetic, low-frequency magnetic technology from. And you can go check these out yourself. System and method for sample detection based on low-frequency spectral components. So they do actually have at least legitimate patents uh, behind this. Of course, it doesn't mean it actually works. It just means that, well, they've got patterns on how they measure and, and actually produce signals. whoop de doo Bennett M. Butters, Nativus Inc. Oh, it's an AD620, low noise amplifier. There you go, um, with a coil. They whack a coil into an AD620. Love the, a bit of an AD620 fanboy, uh, quite frankly. Anyway, apparatus and method for measuring molecular electromagnetic signals with a squid device. Oh, look, so you can see how they're actually doing this is uh, Butters again. It's John Bennett and Lisa Butters. Oh, it's the Butters trio uh, behind this at Nativus Inc. Um, this is how they actually measure all their uh, magic woo-woo signals and characterizing a sample by low frequency spectra. So it looks like they inject Gaussian noise and the signal is used to generate a spectral plot that displays a selected power set in the Gaussian noise source, low frequency spectral components between DC and 50 kilohertz. What happened to your 20? Jeez, wait until U-Beam get a hold of this. U-Beam can pivot. Sorry, they're not called U-Beam anymore. They, uh, what? I don't know. Time domain transduction signals and methods of their production and use. You're treating cancer. And this is the controller and flexible coils for administering therapy, such as for cancer therapy. Yeah, so here's all your cancer woo-woo. A method, system, and device for producing signals from a substance, biological, and or chemical activity. Anyway, and Digibio. Um, I don't know, all these companies are probably related in some way, are they? You know, 80 million bucks worth of research and all that sort of stuff, I don't know about that. But they have actually done this, apparently, and recorded signals, and they think it works, but it doesn't. Because it's just complete power of uh, suggestion. As I said, is it never survive a true double-blind uh, test. It it's just not going to do it. It's absolute woo-woo. Dates back, you know, like 18 years. So, yeah, they weren't kidding. They're, they're all going to expire soon. Aha, yes, it turns out uh, Nativus Inc. Uh, have changed their name to Emulate Therapeutics. There you go. That was in March 2019. Just a little side tangent here. I found this a feasibility study of the Nativus Voyager devices in patients with it's a brain tumor um, type thing. Anyway, it's some sort of study here that they use the Voyager. Well, I, I didn't want to do this, but I just thought no clinically relevant trends were noted in the clinical laboratory parameters. The data suggests that the Voyager is safe and feasible for the treatment. Um, yeah, it's going to be safe because it's just a low level electromagnetic field. The Voyager delivers 25 to 40 milligauss to the entire brain. These levels are 10 times, tenfold below safety guidelines. Yeah, it's 10 times below the Earth's magnetic field that you get every day. And here's the results. Um, this is like really quite sad. They actually followed these uh, patients until they 
died of these uh, brain tumors. Uh, like apparently these were patients that had uh, like who had failed uh, regular medical treatments, couldn't um, couldn't resolve them. Said you know sorry. So they tried this thing, and a total of sixteen of the seventeen patients died from disease progression, even after using. This device, the remaining patient died from uh, myocardial infarction. The patient population is typical of those with um, this brain tumor thing. So it basically what they're saying is it did nothing. And of course, the study was funded by Nativus Inc. And uh, Kay Kasari is a member of the Nativus Scientific Advisory Board. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. I didn't want to get into that, that Voyager thing. And the thing is, just like with a lot of these woo-woo products and, you know, your snake oil audio cables and everything, these people probably think that this thing works. To them, it may not be a scam. They think it might actually genuinely help people. And they may think that their results are, you know, like, oh, so, so many uh, results from so many people. They tried it on and they had a magical experience and it, oh, I tried it on myself. I had a magical experience. But as I said, if you do the, <laughs> a double, true double blind experiment, this thing's going to do jack all. And they're not going to do that. Of course they're not. So these people may very well believe that this thing works. And that's not uncommon for these types of things. And to the people who actually buy this, they may actually get some results from it. Not because it actually does anything physiologically. It's because it's all up here in the mind. Power of suggestion works a treat. And I can guarantee you, if you pay 500 bucks for this thing and 20 bucks a month for the rest of your days, you're going to feel the difference. Just like you're going to hear the difference when you pay 500 bucks for an audiophile mains cable. Where are you? Where do you want to go? How are you going to get there? Think about it a year from now. Where are you right now in your business and personal life? It's just expanded my life. Uh, it's, it's just an amazing try. So it's like you're always one connection away from anything you want in life. But being an ingenious network, you're only one connection away from anyone in the world. So there you go. Hopefully I've shown you enough here <laughs> the, uh, where this all comes from. It's all tied into this entrepreneurial genius network thing. And they're so blazing about it. They're almost practically every single person in this video is like part of this genius network. If they're not simply somebody uh, turning up to one of the genius network uh, events, they're one of the strategic investors and advisory board members all plugging this in the video. It's just so blatant. It's unbelievable. Well, like hats off to them for like being so blatant. So usually it's just like one person or a couple of people who just, you know, get this idea for a, a thing based on a kernel of uh, science and it's not going to work. It might be based on graphene or some other woo-woo technology or something like that. And it's usually just them like doing the Indiegogo campaign and then they'll just pay somebody to do some fancy video or whatever. In this case, yeah, they're, they're doing the fancy video, but all the people plugging this and all the people that they feature here are all part of this white huge circle jerk of the genius network i reckon a lot of people who are buying this are the part of the genius network and you heard in the other video they get like a couple of, they got like a couple of hundred bucks uh discount half a million bucks like and it's not finished yet and then they'll, you know, they might go on Kickstarter when this one's successful and yeah they'll probably deliver their product and yeah it's generating a magnetic field so technically it's doing what it claims um, in terms of actually generating the magnetic field I have no doubt it's actually going to do that and it's going to talk to the app and it's going to like they they will I'm sure they'll deliver this thing based on all the usual uh, you know caveats about you know supply chain and being able to manufacture and deliver and all the logistics involved in that and stuff like that but um, uh, yeah, no, it's obviously magical woo-woo, complete bullshit. And it's so obvious to anyone who knows about this. So anyway, I just, like, normally I, I probably wouldn't have done this until I actually just did a few basic checks and realized the gigantic circle jerk network involved in this. So I thought that was a, just a fascinating 
example of this. So that's great. So yeah, leave it in your comments down below your thoughts on, on this magic woo-woo. It's unbelievable. And the other one which uh, claims to like do cancer. So there you go. I hope you liked that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. As always, you can discuss uh, down below and over on the EEV blog forum and check out my library channel. I've just hit number six in the world now, like 12 and a half thousand subscribers. Woohoo! With a bullet. Catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.